Hello you cold cats, this is Mina, and welcome back to another episode of Trails in the Sky. Um, we're going down to the elevator, which means I have to flip that switch back around. Right. And thankfully it's not thunderstorming this time, because I remember last time I was playing, there's this terrible thunderstorm rolling in and bothering me. Now we're going down. Estelle, try using the key we just borrowed. We should be able to get the elevator working this time. Looks like we can use the elevator now. How about we head down into the lower tunnels? Use the elevator. All right. I have no idea which way I'm going. So let's hug the, the right ball. What the? Oh, oh, this is a cliffside. I just couldn't see it. All right, I hugged right, but I don't want to go through that because that looks like the right way. And as we all know, we want to go the wrong way. Eek, you scared me there for a second. So you're looking for the mine chief, are you? I'm sure he's somewhere across the bridge. To the left, to the left, to the left, left, left. Okay, dead end. And this takes me back up. Okay, so there's nothing exciting here. I'm gonna get myself turned around. What the? What? Oh. I'm always nervous when the game gives you something to rest at. It's always like, okay, so there's a boss coming or something? The reason why we've been able to work down here is due to the grace of the goddess herself. You best remember to give thanks. You said you're looking for the mine chief? He was here a moment ago. Okay. Uh, let's continue hugging left so that I don't get lost. Heaven and Earth, what are you two kids doing down here in a mine? You're the mine chief, right? Boy, am I glad to see you. We've been searching all over this dank place for you. We're with the Bracer Guild, and we've come today on behalf of Mayor Klaus. Handed over the mayor's referral. Mm, I see, so you kids are bracers, are you? It's quite a feat for being so young. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. By the way, you're supposed to have some sort of crystal for us, right? All right, give me a second. This little baby is something you don't see every day, which is why I've been keeping it as close to myself as possible. The mine chief pulls a large green crystal from his breast pocket. Wow! I've never seen a crystal this big before! That is impressive. There seems to be a light swirling around inside, too. It's one of several types of septium, specifically an, it's an M. Esmela. Esmelas? As well as crystal, which is endowed with the power of wind. For a gem of this size, you're looking at a hefty price tag. I'm talking a small fortune here. Make absolutely sure that this gets to the mayor. R Roger that. It's so beautiful. It's like I'm carrying a little fairy in my hand. I don't... Oh, man. Oh, man. Take it from her, Joshua. This is super fun! Check this out, Joshua! That's nice and all, but how about you stop horsing around? If you drop it, we could be in some real trouble. Fine, you big killjoy. Still put the crystal away in her pocket. Well, I guess that's that. We'll get over your hair now, Mr. Gaddon. But don't worry, we'll make sure this gets to the mayor. I'm counting on you, kids. Huh? What's the matter? That's odd. The airflow down here suddenly shifted. The airflow? The scent is... Whoa! Ah! Is, is it over? Was that an earthquake just now? Oh, it seems that there's been a cave-in somewhere within the mine. I wonder if one of those miners hit a patch of loose ground. Better check on the extent of that damage. Look out, Estelle. Huh? Okay. 
But we, we have to protect him, don't we? What is it? Okay, so it's equal to all elements. Wow, I am way stronger than this thing. But why are there... Do you usually have problems with monsters like this? Well, this is the first time we've ever had anything like this ha happen down here. Monsters have been have a predisposition which attracts them to the glow of septium. So we've had a lot of them wander into the mine in the past, but judging from the situation, it may be the recent cave-in opened up a monster... Blah, blah, blah. It may be that the recent cave-in cave -in opened up a hole connected to a den of monsters. D did you say a den of monsters? That's not unconceivable. But this is no time to be standing around thinking about it. I've got to get the other workers out of here. If that's the case, then how about letting us help you out? You're kidding, right? Monster extermination is right up our alley, and besides, every minute counts. You're right. Some extra help would be much appreciated. So how many miners are there? Are we looking at in all? There should only be four others working here in the lower tunnels. Got it, now let's go find them. Sorry about all this. Oh right, take these and use them if you need to. Thank you. Well, we're gonna have to fight some monsters, apparently. Oh, Idos who art in heaven, extend to us thy saving hand. Hey, idiot! You got time to pray to the goddess, then how about helping me take care of these creatures? Combat's actually pretty good when you're fighting against, like, bosses and stuff, but low-level monsters. A little easy. Is everything alright? We are now, thanks to you kids. This must be all- <laughs> This also- blah, 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 blah. This must also be the divine work of Eidos. What a religious nut. If this really was the work of the goddess, then she wouldn't have allowed us to get into this mess in the first place. It's because of unbelievers like you that unfortunate accidents like this happen. Don't you try and say that again, buddy? Is this really the time or place for that kind of nonsense? Now get out of here! But right away, boss. You be careful too, boss. Don't come any closer. I'm not trying to brag, but I'm all muscle, so I won't make a tasty meal. And me too, I'm not delicious either. All this flab would be terrible for a monster's health. Alright. <clears throat> Oops. There's gonna be like a giant crab monster at the end of this. I can just feel it. I think part of the reason why I'm like just crushing these enemies is that I did all those side quests which kind of got me a lot of XP. You're safe now guys. Thank you for coming when you did. Oh man for a minute there I thought I'd never be able to sit down for another meal again. This is no time to feel relieved. We need to evacuate this place. Any more log gagging and you're going to be sitting in the belly of one of these monsters. Yes boss. Wait for me. <clears throat> okay that's all of them. I guess we just need to get out of here. This way. Wait. Is it possible that there's more? Like, I kind of wondered if, like, is there- Is it possible that, like, there's, like, somehow, like, a hidden- character that we needed to go save as well that wasn't supposed to be down here and I don't know like that might affect my score I don't know I start thinking these crazy thoughts like maybe the game's trying to test me to see how diligent I am <clears throat> things were supposed to go like this I don't want to die I haven't even had a girlfriend yet help what? We still got another one down here? We better hurry and rescue him! Oh my gosh. That was just a guess! I didn't think I'd be right! Oh man, you 
kids can't save my skin. Don't worry, you're safe now. A handful of monsters are no match for the likes of a bracer. Did, did you say bracers? What are you doing in a place like this? By the suit on my boots, you're the new recruit from yesterday. Why on earth are you digging down here in the lower tunnels? I, uh, was hoping to get a glimpse of how you veteran miners work down here. Yeah, that's it. When suddenly the wall collapsed and a flood of monsters came in from the other side. <clears throat> So we've got ourselves a veritable nest of monsters now, huh? Looks like you guessed right, kid. So it seems. The area up ahead is dangerous. It's swarming with monsters. Anyway, I'm out of here. Did you look at him run? He must have been really scared. I bet. <clears throat> alright, 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 alright. Okay, I understand. I was just wondering if I needed to go over there. Calm yourself. Did we find everybody? Yes, that should be everyone. Alright then, let's get out of here ourselves. Are you alright, boss? I'm sure glad you're safe. I can thank these kids for that. By the way, is everyone accounted for? Yep, everyone's here. Well, except for a new guy who took off like a bat out of hell. Poor guy must have won himself scared. I see. Well, I hope he doesn't give up being a miner after this. Anyway, there's a high possibility that there are monsters still in the lower tunnels. Until we can confirm it's safe, I don't want anyone using that elevator, you hear me? That was a huge miscalculation on my part. I never expected monsters to surface or bracers to show up. I guess I just have to report the truth about everything that happened. Huh. <clears throat> I apologize for getting you involved in more than your fair share of work today. I'll get in touch with the guild a little later on and make sure you two are compensated fairly. Don't sweat it. We just did what anyone would have done in our position. And besides, it's all part of our training to become full-fledged bra bracers. Either way, what do you intend to do about the lower tunnels? I don't know, but we'll figure out some way to deal with it. There's always the option of sealing off the monster den with some explosives. As a heads up, I may ask for the guild for help if we run into any other serious trouble. Sure, you can count on us, and we'll make sure this crystal gets to the mayor as intended. You did make sure you didn't drop it, right, Estelle? How rude, I'm not that careless. Look, it's right... You didn't. You lost it? Psych! I've got it right here! Let's go and make that delivery, shall we? You are unbelievable. Young lady, those are the kind of words that'll give an old man like me a heart attack. <laughs> it's strange, the bedrock shouldn't have been weak like that, huh? All those monsters, what a horrible experience that was. When it was all over, my stomach started growling again. For a minute there, I thought I was a goner. To get back to town, I better head to the chapel and give thanks to the goddess. You know, you could give thanks to me. Since we won't be able to mine anything below for a while, looks like we're stuck digging up what we can here. And things really made a turn for the worse. I'm glad you kids were around to help out. If it had just been us miners alone, we might not have fared so well. Hmm. I know it leaves me, um, to, like, running into encounters that I otherwise would have tried to skip. But, um... It's kind of like, well, XP is pretty good anyways. <laughs> And getting, like, Sepeth is not, not a bad deal, either. Okay. So we just need to turn this in. Fun. Alright, um... Bracer Guild. Yes, we need to turn it in. <clears throat> oh no, we have to give it to the mayor! Duh, the crystal of the mayor! The mayor, the mayor, the mayor! Duh, da 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 um, upstairs. Is he in here? Here we go. I see. I would never have imagined that the clock tower had such an... 
antidote to go with it. I'm totally blown away after hearing that. With war, it's easy to speak of tragedy, but I think what's important is the strength to overcome the pain and establish peace. Well, who do we have here? We've come to deliver the object you requested. Um, did we catch you in the middle of something? Oh, Estella Joshua, you're no trouble at all. In fact, you've come at a good time. Let me introduce you to my guest. This is Josette. She's a student at the Genus Royal Academy. The Genus Royal Academy? I've heard of it before. It's a boarding school for higher education in the Ruan region, right? Yes, that's right. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Josette Har. I'm Estelle. It's nice to meet you, Josette. You can call me Joshua. The two of them are actually bracers. I asked them to do a personal job for me. Bracers? You mean the proud knights of freedom who love peace above all else and do not succumb to any power? This is such an inspiring moment. I never thought I'd run into any real bracers. The inspiring part sounds a little much. By the way, is it alright to call you... If I just call you Josette? Yes, please do. And why did you come to Roland? Are you a friend of the mayor's? No, today is actually the first time we've ever met. I'm researching an important cultural asset to each region as part of my independent studies. And although I thought he might be busy, I've been lucky enough to get an audience with the mayor. You're really serious about your studies, aren't you? Maybe we're intruding a bit, huh? No, I've already asked the mayor enough questions. Instead, maybe it is I am who in the way. Don't be silly. It's not like that at all. I still, this is a great opportunity. So how about showing her what you brought with you? Sure, hold on a second. Oh my word, that's septium, right? What a wonderful glow it gives off. Yes, and its size is impressive too. This is indeed a gift worthy of expressing the appreciation of all of Roland's citizens. A gift? Worthy of expressing our appreciation? I see. So this is a gift for the Queen's anniversary. You're sharp, Joshua. I intend to send an engraved ornament using this at, to the Queen. <clears throat> As a token of Roland's citizens' appreciation to Her Majesty, who will be turning 60 years old. So it's a present for the Queen! How delightful! We... As citizens of Liberal, owe Her Majesty a great debt for all she has done for us. In fact, the reason why we can use an airliner with such ease is because of the support of the royal family. I've even heard that the Bracer Guild in Liberal has received support from the royal family. We do owe her a great debt of gratitude. Wow, that's pretty amazing! And can you believe it, Joshua? We carried a present for the Queen with these very hands! What's more, you ran around with it in those hands like a wild maniac. You weren't supposed to tell anyone. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have imagined anything less from you, Estelle. You guys. Here you go, Miss Mayor Klaus. It's been faithfully delivered. Thank you very much. And as a matter of precaution... Something's gonna happen to it, I take it. Okay, it'll be safe in there. Now all that's left is to have the Melder's Orbal Factory finish up the engraving on its ornament. I can't wait to see what it'll look like when it's done. Don't hog it all to yourself when you do. Let me see it too when it's finished, okay? It's too bad I won't be here to see it for myself. But today I was lucky enough to speak with the mayor and see something as beautiful as that. How shall I ever thank you? Don't mention it. It's all part of my job as mayor. Thank you for everything, but I think it's time for me to say goodbye. I think we should be going ourselves. Agreed. Have a nice day, Mayor Klaus. Yourselves as well. So you're heading home tomorrow on the airliner, are you? Yes, that's right. School's about to begin. I see, so you used your school vacation time to come here. That's too bad. We could have made great friends. I hope we can meet again sometime. There's nothing I would like more. Plus, since I have a character portrait, you can be pretty sure that I'll be important. Please have a wonderful day, Estelle, Joshua. What a nice girl. For looking for looking like someone from a rich family, she wasn't snooty at all. Yeah. Joshua? Oh, could I be correct in assuming that she's your type? What? 
What are you talking about? You're blushing! I'm really surprised! I had no idea that you were into a rich girl type. We'll have to get some pickup lines ready for the next time you meet. Quit getting all excited about nothing. Especially when you have no idea what others are thinking. Huh? Just never mind. Anyway, let's report to the guild. The next job we're doing for Dad will be the last one. Alright! All right, let's get pumped and knock this last one out. All right. Do, 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 do. Two around the corner. Okay, do, is there any? Ooh, new ones! Lost kitten. I'm looking for my lost kitten. Please meet me on the cafe terrace. A ferocious monster known as the Rhinocider has been spotted roving the Elise Highway. Bracers from this branch are requested to deal with this threat immediately. Okay, so, I guess this one you could just go and do. This one is pretty easy. Let's go and do this one. Lost kitten. It's you, right? We talked to you as I was walking past. What am I ever to do? I hope those bracers will show up sometime soon. Did I hear you say you're looking for a couple of bracers? Yes, that's right. Does this mean that you are they? It sure does. Even that handsome young man, too? That's right, myself included. Well, this is a pl <laughs> This lady. Well, well, what a pleasant surprise this is. There certainly seem to be a lot of people with the name Bracer these days. Does this mean that you are brother and sister or something like that? You know, that's gotta be it. When people you have the same name, it usually means they're family. Well, I guess that's kind of how it is for us. Still, I think this lady has no idea what bracers are. She seems to have mistaken the word bracer for somebody's name. Y you can't be serious. Can I ask what the two of you are whispering to each other about? It would be a pain to explain all of this to her, so let's just go along with what she says. I'll try. You seem to be troubled over something, ma'am. My goodness, for such a cute little dumpling, you catch on quick. Young boys are so considerate. Hey, are you really distressed, or are you just trying to flirt with someone who's way too young for you? Oh, that's right. I am. I am. I am so distressed. My little Arl hasn't come home. I carelessly dozed off here at the cafe, and she vanished. And who is Arl exactly? My little kitten. She's so snuggly-wuggly. Oh, and if I might add, it's not just that her face is so cute, it's her personality as well. What color of your kitten? What's the color of your kitten's fur? Um, let me think for a moment. Maybe it's like the color of the evening sun and the autumn shining down from upon a feed of wheel wheat. So it's tannish? I think she's just out running around somewhere, so if you can find her, please bring her back. Understood. We'll start by looking for her outdoors. If we find her, we'll come back and report to you. I'll be waiting right here for you. Good luck, Mr. Mr. and Ms. Bracer. So... We're looking around town for a cat, I guess. Oh, ho look! Joshua, is that cat? Looks like the one the lady was looking for. I'm certain that's the one. We better hurry and catch it. Um... Ha. Look, it's that cat again. Get back here. This is just like back at the Purzel farm. It seems like we're doing a lot of chasing these days. Okay, so this way. There's that cat again. Still, wait a minute. Maybe that kitten is trying to... Oh no, it's getting away! It went towards the chapel. Let's hurry and catch it. Here we go again. <laughs> There's nowhere left to run, little kitty. It's time to be caught.
Be a good kitty and surrender. Stay right there like that and... It's gonna jump. Estelle, don't corner her like that. We intend to tell her if owner if she takes a dive off the terrace. I know that, but it's not like there's any other way to catch her. Come here, Arl. That's right, this way. I'm sorry that Big Bad is still scared you like that. Jerk. Come on, let's go back and see your owner. Yeah. That's a good girl, Arl. All right, let's go. Your owner is waiting for you. And that pretty much explains everything that happened. Pretty sure that Arl was on her way back to see you from the beginning. Each time we saw her, she had been walking toward the cafe. Now that you mention it, that does seem like what happened. There's a chance because of this, she ended up coming back this late. Oh, don't be silly. You two brought her back safe and sound. I'm really grateful to the both of you. But especially you, Mr. Bracer. You really are just the cat's meow. I'll take that as a compliment. You're blushing, Joshua. I'd sure like to put a color on you. Then you'd be perfect. I apologize, but we, we're going to need to get back and report to the guild. Have a nice day. See you later. Oh, yes. I hope I'll be seeing you a lot more, Mr. Bracer. <laughs> Run, Joshua. Good work. It looks like the, you ran into a bit of trouble at the mine, though, huh? Huh? How'd you know? We got a call from the mine. They said that they were incredibly grateful to the both of you. Now how about you give me a report of what happened? Okay, then. This is what happened. Alright. Mira, Junior Bracer, 8th class. Very nice. It looks like you did much more than anyone was expecting from you. Dealing with unexpected accidents is also part of our mission as a Bracers. Up to see... More great things from you in the future. You just leave that to us. Well, you don't have to worry about Estelle missing anything since her nose is always in everything. Yeah, what he said. Hey, what are you saying? I'm super nosy like that? Because you are. Your skills lie in being direct, nosy, and naive, right? Is that being a bit harsh, Joshua? Are you sure about that? Alright, that's enough, you two. Okay, this is the last of the jobs you'll be doing for Cassius. You heard of the Liberal News, right? You'll be cooperating with them to get some coverage for a news story. Isn't that the name of the news magazine we bought the other day? What are the chances of that happening? When you say cooperating with them to get some coverage, just exactly what does that entail? It seems they're looking for a skilled guide because they want to get some shots of a dangerous place. We'll need to ask the reporters directly for the details. The reporter and camera woman from the news service are staying at the Hotel Roland. Here's a referral from the Guild. All right, how will we get over to the hotel and talk to these people? Good idea, let's go. I have another thing to turn in, though. Yeah, lost kitten. So, the Elise Highway monster. I guess we can do that. We'll do that. I'm gonna save just in case something horrible goes on. Yeah, we'll save right there. We're good. Okay, which way is the... The least highway. Okay. I'm guessing it's going to stand out. Gonna be like some sort of specific monster, I'd imagine. That's oh, there it is. Okay, I know what to do. do um, tap.
jump in right there and do this pummel. Ooh, big damage. He does big damage too. I'm glad I did that. Nice. Look at all that Sepith and a lucky fang. Exterminated monster on Elise Highway. Woo! Nicely done. Turn this in, report it. So what rank am I? Am I still, okay, the eighth class, that's fine. And we wrapped up all of these quests. I'm pretty happy that we did that. All right, so the next time we come back, we are going to be dealing with the reporter at the Hotel Roland. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and wander back, heal up, and then save right outside of the hotel so that way I know exactly where we're starting. We start off at a very nice place where I can easily remember where I need to go. Alright, so that'll be it for this episode. We will start back up with going into the Hotel Roland in the next episode, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye!